Hey, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. You know, I get a lot of grief out there because I barbecue and smoke ribs and things like that using propane. Now, here's the thing. I got my smoker over here. I mean, my electric starter over here. Starting some more of the smoking the wooden stuff to go in here. I, I probably get grief because I'm not using, you know, like flint and steel to start some newspaper to get my charcoal going. But it's okay. It's okay. Because we're about 10 hours in right now. And, and we're, we're getting there. Let's, let's, let me turn the lights on here so you guys can see while I spritz this. Okay. Get close. We got to do this quick. Okay. Now the great thing about the smoker is I went to sleep about three hours ago and that temperature is still right at 220. Just have to add some more charcoal stuff in here. Add a couple of wet ones here so it'll simmer for me. Alright. Okay, so. That'll be good for a few more hours. And I can go back and lay down for a bit. Get the smoke going again. So. We handling business here. We're smoking some hogs. Now, you know, I get a lot of grief for a lot of reasons in life. And one of those is down in my man cave, we have um, some memorabilia from other players that are there. And it's not that I'm rooting for those teams by no means, but I've been blessed to have worked with United Way with some really great players like Calais Campbell and stuff, uh, Cam Newton and Ron Jaworski and stuff. And I'm not rooting for the team, but some players realize that they're global citizens that they in fact can help change lives and are doing that and I applaud those guys for being great human beings. And there's one guy I didn't want to like because of what he does on the field. And that is Josh Norman, the mouth that roars, you know? But Josh Norman with Demario Davis, you know Demario Davis, he, he's my boy, he's my boy. He's like my wife's little uh, adopted child, so to speak. Um, who's done a lot of great things in the community and stuff. Well, Josh Norman and Demario Davis have done work at the border. They've done, been to Flint, Michigan. Um, they've done a lot of great things in the community, you know, uh, education and stuff like that. And I met Josh Norman, and he's cool people. But he just made the mistake. You know, sometimes it's better to leave a sleeping bear sleep not to chance fate, not to open your mouth too much, because Jalen Ramsey made that mistake last year talking about Dak Prescott, and I believe 
That was the biggest game the Dallas Cowboys had last year. And he literally shut them out. Josh Norman kind of said about Dallas Cowboys in that offense that anybody can do that. He just put Dak and the offense on blast. And he said, well, you know, with the way that offensive line was blocking, you know, and things like that, he had all day. All day. That's right, Skins fans. All day. That he had all day to, to be able to carve him up and everything else. And that anybody could have done what Dak Prescott did. Ooh, man. Josh. I know trash talking is part of your game, you know. Like you, you try and get into people's heads. And um, mess with their psyche. But understand, Dak Prescott is working on his master's degree in psychology. You can't psych him out. But you can psych him up. You can motivate that F out of him. And I got to tell you, man. It sounds like you're going to be covering Amari Cooper. Or maybe Michael Gallup. I can guarantee you that you're going to see a whole lot of passing, especially against the Redskins' defensive line. The Redskins' defensive line is, is stout. They are a great defensive line. You know, don't sleep on those guys. The Redskins have a great defensive line. But y'all secondary, it's beat the hell up. And you've got Amari Cooper. you got Michael Gallup. You got Randall Cobb. We'll throw in Jason Witten as well as um, Blake Jarwin. And then you also have a Tony Pollard. Oh my God, dude. You know, this may have been one of those times that have been better to be quiet. Because my quarterback has done pretty, pretty good when it comes to guys calling him out. He ain't no slouch. Yeah. He might be smoking some hogs this weekend, too. Well, I'm going to go up and sleep for about three more hours. Then I got to get my ass back going. I got a whole lot of work to do. But I got to tell you, I can't wait, man. This is going to be fun. Whew. I'm Mark Holmes with the 3.30 a.m. Smoking Some Hogs report. <laughs> Calling out Dak. <laughs> Calling out Dak. <laughs> Calling out Dak. I got to tell you, that's just not bright. I'll see you guys in a few hours. And uh, some of these might actually be ready by then. I'll see you soon.